Hello, how are you? The topic for today is Convert from polar to rectangular coordinated system In the video before to this one I was teaching how to convert from rectangular coordinated system to polar coordinated system In this video I'm going to teach how to convert from polar coordinated system to rectangular coordinated system to do this one I'm going to explain using many examples before to do the examples I need to remember when the relations between the polar coordinated system and the rectangular coordinated system is represented by these two equations that's the equation will permit to change from the polar coordinated system to the rectangular coordinated system okay first example example number one I have the point in the polar coordinated system r is 3 zeta is pi over 4 and when you plug in in the coordinated system you have pi over 4 here this is the angle this is this angle here to here is pi over 4 and you come from the center 1 2 3 and this is the represent the graphic representations of the point 3 pi over 4 in the polar coordinated system using these two equations I can find x and y to convert this point this point in the polar coordinated system to the rectangular coordinated system x is the r value is 3 and the zeta angle is pi over 4 you do the same thing by y but in this case I use the function sine to find y cosine to find what to find x cosine to find y sine and the, you multiply 3 and the cosine of pi over 4 is square root 2 divided by 2 and the sine of pi over 4 is a square root 2 divided by 2 but you can use it the calculator you can use it the calculator and you can type for example 3 times cosine and before you do the operation you need to go to the mode and you need to be sure that you have radiance selection if you don't select radiance you make a mistake now I'm going to back to do the same now it is a radiance I can do it 3 cosine uh, you push second because I have pi here divide by 4 close parenthesis enter is 2.12 and the same thing you say 3 times the sine of pi divided by 4 close parenthesis and I enter and this is the answer now come back here to the my problem here now what do I have now I have here 2.12 remember that was my answer 2.12 and 2.12 then 2.12 here and a 2.12 now my point is 2.12 comma 2.12 and the graphic representation is here 2.12 is more like this the x is 2.12 and the y is 2.12 and this is the graphic representation we're going now to the example number two in this case I have example number two I have the phi and a pi over 2 pi over 2 is this angle here pi over 2 that's the angle this angle here is pi over 2 and now you count 5 from the center 1 2 3 4 and 5 using the equation of phi cosine is pi over 2 and a y is sine of pi over 2 because the value of the r is phi and the value of the angle is zero is pi over two, and the cosine of pi over two is zero, and the cosine and the sine of pi over two is one. 
you can use the calculator and now it's zero and I'm, I'm five. Plug in the point zero five. Now zero five is this point. You see the point lie in the y axis similar to this. Okay. Another example. I have example number three. Now it's six three pi over four. The angle the angle three pi over four is this is the angle three pi over four. Okay, this is the angle for this. This is the angle 3 pi over 4. You can see here. 3 pi over 4. And you count 6 from the center. At 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you represent the point in the polar coordinate system. Now, using the equation x is or r cosine of zeta, using this equation, and use this another equation, you can find. Now, this is, we go back to the calculator again. Come back to the calculator. Let me clear here. Clear everything here. And use 6. 6 times cosine and pi 3. No, no, no. It's 3. Let me erase. Let me erase, let me erase it. No. You say 3, 3 second pi divide by 4. And a close parenthesis. That's a value. And another value is 6 times sine 3 pi divided by 4. And this is the answer. Negative 4.24 and 4.24 positive. Okay? Now it's negative 4. This is going to be back. Negative 4.24, and that's my, that's my result in my calculator. Negative 4.24 and 4.24, that's my result in the calculator. Now, when you plug in here on the coordinate shift in the, in, the, in the rectangular coordinate system, this is the point, okay? In the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant here, in the second quadrant here. Example number four. Example number four. The angle pi over 3 is this one. This is the angle of pi over 3. But remember, because the radius is negative, you move in the opposite direction now. Now the angle is here. This is pi over 3, but you need to move in the opposite direction because the radius is negative. And you can find 1, 2, 3, 4. You can find 1, 2, 3, 4. I made a mistake here. It's going to be 5. It's going to, it's going to be here. It's going to be here. 5. Now, you do the same thing. You do the same thing. And you get a calculator. If you want to use a calculator, you're going to clear here. Clear. And you say negative 5. Let me clear here. Clear. You use negative. Negative 5. Time. Cosine of pi divided by 3. That's the answer. And negative 5 times sine of pi pi divided by 3. And enter. Now I have negative 2.5 and negative 4.33. Now we continue to do this one here. Negative 2.5 and negative 4.43. That's the result we have in the calculator. Now you plug in this one. You plug in the that's the value and you plug in on the graph and you have your answers. Next exercise number five. I have this one. Seven and negative pi over three. Negative pi over three is this angle. This is because you move in the close y rotation. This is negative pi over 3. How you find this? You say, you say 2 pi, 2 pi minus pi over 3. And you find 5 pi over 3. Okay? And this is the angle.
Yes, it's at all two pi. You, you, you have all two pi is this one. You subtract this one, you subtract pi over 3, you get at this angle, and this angle is 5 pi over 3. Let me, let me erase all of this. Okay? Now, then, you do the same thing here. X is equal to 7 is the value of the R, the same. You go calculate it again. Come back to the calculator. Clear everything. I'm going to clear here. Now you say 7 times cosine of negative pi divide by 3. Close parenthesis. Enter. 3.5. 7 times the sine negative second pi divided by 3 and close parenthesis and this is the answer now we're going to check we're going to check now using this one this is 3.5 and negative 6.06 .06. come back to the calculator and I have 3.5 and negative 6.06 .06. now when you go to plot the number this is the coordinate, new coordinate you plug in the point and this is the point now I'm going to do the last example. The last example. The radio is 5 and the angle is 240 degree. 240 degree. That's, that is a mistake. 240 degree is here. This is a mistake. 240 degrees is here. Because the, I forgot to erase. This is no. That is incorrect. No. 40 degree, 240 degree is here. This is the point. And you move 5 units. 1, 2, 3. Yeah? Let me quick check it again. Now we erase because this you make a mistake when I create this one. Now we erase this one. Now, now what are you gonna do now? You count the angle to 40 is this one. This is the angle to 40, and you count five. One, two, three, four, five is this one. This is the correct. This is the point in the polar coordinate system. Now you do it now, 5 cosine of 240, 5 sine of 240, but now remember, come back to the calculator, because i working now with degree, you need to go, you need to go to the mode and change to degree. Okay, you need to move, move to degree. Move to degree, because if you don't use degree, you make a mistake. Second quiz. And now is 5, Time cosine is two forty because I work in degree. Enter. And another is five. Let me clear it. Let me clear it again. Let me check the mold and that is not in Ryan yet. Is it I gonna move here? Because it's in degree yet. Radian. Okay, enter. Forgot to be to push enter. I forgot to push enter. Coming back now. Clear ABC. You say now. Phi time. Cosine 240. And you close parenthesis. That's the value. Phi time. The sine 240. And the close parenthesis. This is the value. Now is negative 2.5 the value of the x and negative 4.33. Okay? Now you go to here, negative 2.5 and negative 4.33. That's the answer I find in the, my calculator. Okay? Now that's my new coordinator. 2.5 negative.